let's bring in the new input system with Playmaker. Alright, first thing I'm going to do is go to my assets and look up Playmaker. Obviously I can't filter it to 2D because it's not going to show up. So let's go Playmaker and import that. And that's all I really need to bring in. And now that we're in, we need to install Playmaker. Alright, so now we have Playmaker installed. So let's look for input. There's the input system. Let's install the input system. Normally, you would install the input system first before you install Playmaker. But now it says, okay, do you want to restart? Okay, yeah, sure. It does that. Okay, yeah, uh, save. Sure, why not? Okay, so now that we've installed uh, Playmaker and the new input system, let's go over to Project Settings, Plot, and we go down, oh, often, by the way, pro tip, always go to Linear. I'm not going to change it now because it takes time. Uh, so here we have Input System Package, New and Old. So we're going to make sure we're on the new. Oh, let's see if it actually brought it in for us. Maybe they've changed this because prior you had to reinstall it. So let's go input. Oh, we do have it already. So we don't have to install. Right? So we have these button events and stuff now. So these want an action. We don't have any actions. The easiest way to set this up to begin with is to go back to the package manager go back to inputs where we have the input system is already installed but open up the samples and this custom binding composite import those and that gives you a nice default setup just to start with and it's great because now we don't have to worry about um, the mouse and the events and stuff like that that's kind of already pre-built and we can add on to it and change it and so forth so anyways the player inputs now if we click we don't have anything so that's because we need a player input so we need a player input right so let's create actions Oh, okay, now we have them. Must have just been some errors happening there. Okay, so <clears throat> the, these are what come in from this composite, right? Are all these little actions. So if I go here, if I open that up, we have this stuff okay so I did have to create that first and then it fit them all underneath it but these are just actions so I can now choose an action fire that's it and you ask okay well what the hell is fire right <clears throat> fair enough fair enough so if we click on this guy the root the thing we just made and we go edit we go up to here so this is all stuff that comes pre-made Right, so it has all the UI stuff, um, all the submit, which is why this is kind of really nice to bring this in because it sets a lot of this up for you. Uh, but it also comes with player. And it comes with look, move, fire. Now, you can add more maps. You can do all sorts of different little things. Uh, you can modify these, change these, do whatever you want. Right, but it's very easy now with that we're in here. We can go... Let's create a new action called jump. It has no binding, so let's give it a binding. And we can now click that. 
we could also hit listen or you could choose stuff but let's say hit listen now if i say touch the space bar -doop, there it is okay so now we hit that so now we have jump just like that oh make sure to save so if you now look over here we should have jump it's right there let's shrink this down All right there's jump we literally just made that so is pressed let's say is jump and let's just hit play and I'll press and hold the space bar let's make sure we highlight that so it's false and we're on the game window I press and hold space it's now true see so that's that's how easy it was to set up the inputs right is we went to here and we added jump we assigned space to it but you, you can assign more right I can add in you know add another binding and let's you know we can do gamepad you know which button do you want to use on the gamepad um, you can add more keyboard stuff uh, we can I don't know let's do let's do M right we can have them both now we have space and M so we can I will turn on auto save all right so now if I hit play if I hit space bar it's true I let go of space bar it's false I push M it's true I let go it's false all right I can now use both of them so <clears throat> you can create these actions and then use these like we can name them whatever you want right and these these are buttons right input button events but you can also use canceled enable get bool get float get a move vector right let's get rid of that for a minute and we could say let's use the move right because we know the move if you open it the move is actually based on you know W A S D uh, the left stick of the gamepad and it's got some other stuff in here right so we can say and this is just like get access vector so let's store the vector hit play and now if I push I'll use the I'll use the keyboard obviously if I, you know push a know D uh, push them both <laughs> you know up and down so I can I have you know movement so this replaces um, this stuff all these things like the get axes right like if I go space uh, let's say let's say is jump I'm gonna turn this stuff off right this is the old system and this still works I actually still use this stuff a lot but if I hit it now I'm not getting anything right I should I should be getting it I'm not getting it and that's because this guy is set to the new system it's not even looking at the old system anymore right so a lot of these actions when you look at input uh, these things aren't gonna work for a lot of it some of them will like the mouse pick and stuff will but the get the get keys down and stuff like that it's just not gonna work So you can, and I've actually, you know, I've never tried this, but you can go to both. Okay, so now, now we're in both, right? So I had to reboot Unity for it.
to, for it to take effect. But we're in both. And now, this get key. Should should work. No, it doesn't work. It's still looking for the actions. So now I, I I don't know if that's actually supported on the both with Playmaker. I I have no idea. We do have these back though. I see that. Uh, I don't know if those will work. We can try them out. Oh yeah, there we have, there we have our vector. I, I I might have just had to delete that action and replace it. Now let's do input. Let's get the move vector. And let's bring in move. We have to store it into a different variable. Let's call this one x, I suppose. So technically, it's the, I'm going to be using the same buttons for both of them, but it's running two different systems. So let's see if they work. Yep, they work. See, look at that. Look at that difference. If I, if I hit forward and say a direction, this these are giving me one and one, and this is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. That's because this one's being normalized. This one's not, actually. I, I didn't realize that. I thought this one did in the past, but I guess not. Th this is actually the correct way, the, the normalized 0 0.7, 0 0.7. Right? If I let go of one of the ways, it goes to the full one. Now, if I hit left and right at the same time, I get zeros here because they're count they're count canceling. This one just stays kind of wherever it was. Now, there's something new for you, anyways. So there is how we set up the input system to get going on that with Playmaker.